today we're going to learn about sigmoid growth curve and it start with leg phase where the growth is very slow due to organism trying to adapt with the new environment there are also few cells at initial stage and the cells are actively dividing but actual increase in size is very small the next phase is called as the exponential phase or log phase where rapid growth occur or exponentially grows the cell divides and enlarge and there is no constraint on growth because there are excessive nutrients there are also enough space and there is no accumulation of toxic waste the next phase is decelerating phase where the growth phase slow down due to limiting factors it is either by internal factors or external factors and the example of internal factors includes maturity maximum size while the external factor includes food supply and space the last phase is the stationary phase where constant growth is reached the, the cell divides to replace that cell the rate of cell division is equal to the rate of mortality and lastly the net growth is zero so that is all about sigmoid growth curve